iceberg zone. I kept all hands busy building sledges for use at Cape York in hauling material for the Peary Monument. And we made them good and strong, as there was plenty of work ahead. They were finished when we sailed into the much dreaded Melville Bay, the home waters of the big birds. It took skillful ice navigating to con my little Morrissey to the berg infested waters. Although we changed the watch every four hours, all hands slept in their clothes as we got closer and closer to the mountains of floating ice. I stayed on deck all the time for the touch and go. Suffering sitters! Look at that big one turn over without warning. If we hadn't swung the ship, she'd have rolled on us. Holy mackerel! Here's another, charging in like a wild bull. We've struck! She's shoving us over on the land ice and carried away the main boom. No chance to get clear unless we work fast. The boys went to it with a will, and my little Morrissey was kept full speed astern while all hands rushed over to break the ice on the lee side so that the bird could slide on. And while the crew were shoving at one end, working like fury, we were pushing at the other. There she goes, gradually swinging the bird. And now, look boys, look, she's free. A close shave, but I'm feeling good now, so come along and land with me at Cape York. <laughs>